Hello, welcome back to another homework help by your teacher M. Here are the rules in adding integers. When you're adding integers, the first thing you have to look for is are they of the same signs? If they are of the same signs, whether they're both positive or both negative, then you have to add them. Then just copy the same sign. Now, what about if they're different signs? One is positive, one is negative. Then you have to subtract them. Then you have to copy the sign of the one that is of higher absolute value, meaning farther from zero. Remember, absolute value, that's the distance of the number from zero. Whichever is higher, much farther from zero, therefore you copy the sign of that number for your final answer. Okay? Now let's move on with examples. But first, you make sure you copy this on your notebook so you'll never forget the rules in adding integers. The first example is negative 12 plus negative 8. Now you have to ask yourself, are they of the same signs? Of course, because they're both negative. Therefore, what are we going to do if they are of the same signs? We're going to have to add them. A negative 12 plus negative 8 is negative 20. You copy the same sign because both of them are negative. Okay, let's have another example. A negative 5 plus a negative 5. Are they of the same signs? Yes, they are still of the same signs. So what are we going to do? Add them. So our final answer is a negative 10. You just copy the same sign. Okay, let's have another example. Negative 12 plus 8. Now, you ask yourself, are they of the same signs? No, one is negative, one is positive. Therefore, what are we going to do if they're of the different signs? You're going to have to subtract. Now, we know that the difference between 12 and 8 is 4. But whose sign are we supposed to copy? It says here, we always have to copy the sign of the one that has higher absolute value or distance from zero. And which one do you think is farther from zero? Of course, 12 spaces away from zero is farther. And what is the sign that we have to copy then? That should be negative. Therefore, our final answer will be a negative 4 because we always copy the sign of the one with a higher absolute value. Let's have more examples before we move on with our DMR number 7. So we have negative 7 plus 10. Now you ask yourself, are they of the same signs? No, because one of them is negative 7 and the other is positive. So automatic, you know what to do if they are different signs. You have to subtract. What's the difference between 7 and 10? That's going to be 3. Now, whose sign are we going to copy from is the one that is of higher absolute value, meaning farther from the 0 on your number line. So which one do you think is farther from zero on your number line? It's not seven spaces. It's going to be the ten spaces away from zero, which happens to be our positive number. So you're going to have a final answer with a positive sign. Okay? Here's another example, positive seven plus a negative ten. You know, they're different signs, right? So we have to subtract them. What is the difference between ten and seven? That's going to be 3. But whose sign am I going to copy from? Still, the one that is of higher absolute value or farther from 0. And that's going to be the 10 spaces away from 0, which happens to have a negative sign. So copy that sign on your final answer. Okay, another example is negative 7 plus a negative 10. Are they of the same signs? Yes, because they're both negative, okay? So what are we going to do if they're of the same signs? You're going to have to add them. What is 7 plus 10? That's 17. Then just copy the same signs because they're both negative. And there's your final answer. Okay, I know you're getting comfortable with adding integers. Let's have one last set of examples before we move on with our DMR number 7. Okay, negative 3 plus positive 3. Ask yourself now. Are they of the same signs? No. They're different signs. One is negative, one is positive. So what are we going to do? Subtract them. So what will be our answer then? Negative 3 plus 3. They're different signs. Subtract 3 minus 3 is 0. So that is your final answer. Let's have two more and then DMR number 7. 
positive 15 plus negative 15. I know you're gonna say subtract, so 15 minus 15 is zero because they're different signs. 100 plus negative 100. Of course, it's a zero because they're of different signs. Okay, each time you add two opposites, okay, the numbers that are opposite from each other on a number line, it will always equal to a zero because they're different signs, therefore you have to subtract them, and they're the same number. So they will always equal to a zero. So what do we call them? They are zero pairs, okay? Adding integers can also be represented using a number line, okay? How is that gonna be? Let's go ahead and look at an example here. We'll we will still follow the same rules in adding integers. Same signs you will add, if they're different signs, you will subtract, then copy the sign of the higher absolute value. So let's look at the first example, 4 plus 4. They're both positive, so you add them. Now, how are we going to represent this using a number line? You will have to see or look at the first number. The first number is a positive number, positive 4. So you start on 0 and go to positive 4 from there. So do I go to the left or right? Since it's a positive, so I go to the right of zero. So you create an arrow pointing here on a line that ends at positive four, okay? Now let's look at the second number. This is your second number. It's another positive number. So that means you're adding four spaces to the right. If it's a negative, then you're adding four spaces to the left. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add four spaces to our existing positive four. So we are here right now, so this is where we're going to start to add the four spaces to the right. So let's go ahead and start. You don't count this yet, but you count this is one, two, three, four. So you're going to stop here with your next arrow. So this number line represents this equation that says Positive 4 plus positive 4 will equal to 8. Isn't it when we went to the right with our first number, 4, then you added 4 more spaces to the right of that, we had positive 8 as our final answer. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. The next problem is a negative 4 plus another negative 4. So are they of the same signs? Therefore, we're going to add them. What will be the answer then? So when you add a negative 4 to a negative 4, your answer will be a negative 8. So let's go ahead and represent them on a number line. The first number written is negative 4, so look for the 0. And then since it's a negative 4 for our first number, we go to the left. Okay, you find that negative 4 and you stop your arrow there. Now look at the next number. It's the number of spaces we're adding to the first number. So how many spaces are we adding? Four. But what direction are we going to go? To the left. Because it's a negative four spaces. So from where we are right now, which is negative four, we're going to go ahead and add four more spaces to the left because it's a negative four. So I'm going to go ahead and count. This is one, two, three, four. Therefore, the next line will start from here and we'll end all the way here. And that is representing our negative 4 plus negative 4. Now let's try the next one. It says negative 3 plus negative 2. Are they the same signs? If they are of the same signs, we add them. So go ahead, add. That's going to be negative 3 plus negative 2. Of course, we're going to have a negative 5. Then you go ahead and look at the first number. The first number is negative 3. So on our number line, it should be the first one that is represented by the first line. So go into the left, then stop on negative 3. So this represents negative 3. So how many spaces are we trying to add to our negative 3? We're trying to add two more spaces going to the left. Why going to the left? Because it's a negative number. So let's go ahead and count two more spaces. From where we are right now, which is negative 3, that's 1, 2, going to the left. 
Therefore, the next line should from here and stop all the way here. And you see it stopped on negative 5 because negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Okay, now let's have another example. It's negative 5 plus positive 6. Now, you ask yourself, are they of the same signs? You see this one is negative, the other one is positive. So that means we have to subtract. And what is the difference between 5 and 6? That's going to be 1. Now, you have to look at which one between these two numbers are farther from 0 or what we mean higher absolute value. We'll copy the sign of that number. And 6 spaces is more and farther from 0 than 5 spaces. Therefore, we copy the sign of this 6, which is going to be positive. So your answer will be positive 1. Now let's represent this equation okay, on a number line. The first number, look at it, it's negative 5. So we always start on 0. Since it's a negative 5, so you go to the left. And then that arrow should stop where negative 5 is. Then you look at the number of spaces that we're trying to add to our negative 5. How many spaces is that? 6 spaces. And what kind of spaces? Is it negative or positive? It's positive, therefore we're going to go back to the right. So that means from being here, we're going to go ahead count 6 spaces back to the right because it's positive 6. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, the other line is going back here, all the way here, and will stop where uh, the 6 spaces stopped. And look, our answer is positive 1. Isn't it that is our answer when we tried to work it out first? Now, let's look at the next one. It's positive 4 plus a negative 4. Remember our 0 pairs. These two are zero pairs because they're opposites that are being added to each other. Therefore, they're different signs. You're going to subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. The first number is positive 4. So you start on 0. It's a positive, so you go to the right. Stop on positive 4. Therefore, the first line is represented by a positive 4. Now, the next number is the number of spaces we're trying to add to our first number. And it's a negative. So where do we go? What direction do we go? So if it's negative, you go back to the left. And it's four spaces. And therefore, this is the representation for this equation. 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. Now for the next one, a negative 3 plus a negative 3. So you know what to do with the first number. That will represent our first line on this number line, starting from 0. So negative 3 is the first line for the first number. Now look at the next number. Again, that is only the number of what? Spaces we're trying to add to the previous number. And it's negative, so what direction do we go? You're right. It's going to go farther to the left, three more spaces. So therefore, we're going to have to extend this line three more spaces. And look, it stopped here. Isn't it negative 3 plus a negative 3 will give you a negative 6? I bet you already know what the answer will be for this positive 3 plus a negative 3. They are different signs and they are zero pairs. So 3 minus 3 is 0. So how are we going to represent it on a number line? Now copy this number line and then show me how are you supposed to represent the first number on the number line and then how many more spaces are you going to add for the first number? So, and then what direction are you going to go since it's negative? Go ahead and copy the number line and create the representation for this equation. Did you get something like this? And therefore, you are correct. Now, let's do the last one, which is positive 6 plus negative 2. Now, you ask yourself, are they different signs? Yes, they are. So, what are we going to do? Subtract. What is the difference between positive 6 and 2? So, that's going to be 
4. But whose sign are we going to copy from? The one farther from 0, and that is 6 spaces away from 0. So that's going to be positive 4. Now let's go ahead and represent it on a number line. The first number is 6. It's positive. So start on 0, go to the right, stop on positive 6. This is the line for positive 6. The next number is the number of what? spaces and we are trying to add two spaces but what direction are we gonna go to the left why because it's negative so where we are right now is on positive six and we want to go back to the left two spaces so this is one and this is two therefore the line that goes back from here should stop all the way here two spaces to the left and therefore, this line on the top represents the second number, which is negative 2. Now, let's look at it. Didn't it stop on a positive 4? So, that means our answer is really correct. Whether you work it out following the rules in adding integers, and you use a number line, and it's still going to be the same answer. Remember, on your homework, you have answer choices that shows a number line, that represents that equation. You have to be wise in choosing the correct number line that represents the equation. Okay? You may always rewind this video. Good luck and I'll see you in class. Bye!